Welcome to Space Sparks, where we ignite discussions on the most pressing questions about our universe. In today's episode, we delve into the chilling inquiry, can we survive in nuclear winter? Join us as we explore the science, history, and strategies for resilience in the face of this formidable challenge. Nuclear winter. Nuclear winter represents one of the most catastrophic consequences of large-scale nuclear conflict. In this detailed exploration, we will delve into the intricate mechanisms and potential impacts of nuclear winter, examining its scientific basis, historical context, and implications for human survival. Theoretical Framework Nuclear winter is grounded in the principles of atmospheric physics and climatology. It arises from the injection of massive quantities of soot, smoke, and other particulate matter into the Earth's atmosphere following a nuclear war. This influx of aerosols disrupts the balance of solar radiation, leading to a significant cooling effect on the planet's surface. Nuclear Explosions A nuclear explosion is a cataclysmic event resulting from the release of vast amounts of energy stored within atomic nuclei. It occurs when the nucleus of an atom is split, a process known as nuclear fission, or when atomic nuclei are forcibly combined, known as nuclear fusion. In either case, the sudden liberation of energy produces an immense blast wave and intense heat, along with a burst of radiation in the form of gamma rays, neutrons, and other particles. In the context of nuclear weapons, these explosions are deliberately initiated through the detonation of atomic or hydrogen bombs. Upon detonation, the explosive force generates a fireball that rapidly expands outward, vaporizing surrounding materials and creating a shockwave capable of causing widespread destruction over vast distances. The heat generated by the explosion ignites fires, triggering secondary conflagrations known as firestorms, which can consume entire cities within minutes. Beyond the immediate blast and thermal effects, nuclear explosions also release radioactive fallout consisting of particles contaminated by radioactive materials. This fallout can be carried by winds over large areas, posing significant health hazards to human and environmental health. The devastating power of nuclear explosions underscores the grave risks associated with nuclear weapons and the imperative of preventing their use through international cooperation and disarmament efforts. Atmospheric Injection Atmospheric injection is a critical component of the complex phenomenon known as nuclear winter. Following a large-scale nuclear war, the detonation of nuclear weapons releases immense amounts of energy, triggering firestorms that consume urban and industrial areas. These infernos generate intense heat and produce copious quantities of smoke, soot, and other particulate matter. As these combustion byproducts are propelled into the atmosphere, they ascend to the upper layers, where they form a dense aerosol layer. This layer extends across vast regions, enveloping the planet in a shroud of darkness. The aerosols scatter and absorb incoming solar radiation, preventing sunlight from reaching the Earth's surface. This phenomenon, known as solar dimming, leads to a rapid decline in temperatures worldwide. The aerosol layer acts as a barrier, effectively blocking sunlight and disrupting the balance of solar radiation, which is essential for sustaining life on Earth. Consequently, atmospheric injection plays a pivotal role in initiating and perpetuating the chilling effects of nuclear winter, highlighting the profound environmental and climatic consequences of nuclear conflict. Climate Feedbacks Climate feedbacks play a pivotal role in shaping the dynamics of nuclear winter. As the aerosols injected into the atmosphere block sunlight and induce a cooling effect, they trigger complex feedback mechanisms that exacerbate the temperature decline and prolong the duration of the nuclear winter conditions. One such feedback loop involves the destruction of atmospheric circulation patterns. As temperatures plummet, the temperature gradient between the equator and the poles intensifies, altering the flow of air currents and jet streams. These changes in atmospheric circulation further redistribute the aerosols, exacerbating their cooling effect on a global scale. Additionally, the weakened solar radiation diminishes evaporation rates and reduces cloud formation, leading to a decrease in precipitation. This precipitation deficit compounds the environmental stresses already imposed by nuclear winter, exacerbating food shortages and water scarcity. Furthermore, the decline in temperature alters the Earth's albedo, or reflectivity, as snow and ice cover expand across previously temperate regions. This increase in albedo further amplifies the cooling effect, creating a feedback loop that reinforces the conditions of nuclear winter. Historical Precedence 
Historical precedents offer valuable insights into the potential consequences of nuclear winter, shedding light on the environmental and societal impacts of large-scale volcanic eruptions and other catastrophic events. One of the most notable analogues is the eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815, which led to the infamous year without a summer in 1816. The eruption ejected massive amounts of volcanic ash and sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, creating a global veil that blocked sunlight and caused widespread cooling. This climatic destruction resulted in crop failures, famine, and social unrest across Europe, North America, and other regions. The parallels between the environmental effects of volcanic eruptions and the theoretical projections of nuclear winter underscore the potential severity of the latter phenomenon. By studying historical precedents, scientists can glean valuable insights into the dynamics of climate destruction and inform their models and predictions of nuclear winter's impacts on global ecosystems and human societies. Scientific modeling Scientific modeling plays a crucial role in our understanding of nuclear winter and its potential impacts. Utilizing advanced computer simulations, scientists can replicate the complex interactions between nuclear explosions, atmospheric dynamics, and climatic feedback mechanisms. These models incorporate vast datasets on factors such as nuclear weapon yields, atmospheric composition, and global weather patterns enabling researchers to generate predictions of how a large-scale nuclear conflict might unfold and its subsequent effects on the environment. While there is inherent uncertainty in modeling such complex systems, the convergence of multiple models reinforces the credibility of their findings and underscores the severity of the potential consequences of nuclear winter. Through scientific modeling, we gain valuable insights into the dynamics of nuclear war and the imperative for concerted efforts to prevent such catastrophic events. Impacts on human survival The prospect of nuclear winter poses profound challenges to human survival, encompassing a spectrum of physical, environmental, and societal factors. Food security Food security represents a critical aspect of human survival in the context of nuclear winter, where the destruction of agricultural systems and the onset of adverse environmental conditions pose formidable challenges to access to food. The widespread devastation caused by nuclear explosions and subsequent fires would lead to significant destructions in food production, distribution, and availability on a global scale. Crop failures, induced by reduced sunlight and altered weather patterns, would decimate agricultural yields, leading to acute shortages of staple crops such as grains, fruits, and vegetables. The loss of infrastructure, including farm equipment, storage facilities, and transportation networks, would further impede efforts to cultivate and distribute food. In addition to the direct impacts on agricultural output, nuclear winter would also disrupt ecosystems and natural habitats affecting wildlife populations and diminishing the availability of wild foods such as game, fish, and forageable plants. This reduction in biodiversity exacerbates the strain on food resources, particularly for communities reliant on hunting, fishing, and gathering for sustenance. The scarcity of food resources during nuclear winter would precipitate a cascade of humanitarian crises, including widespread famine, malnutrition, and food insecurity. Vulnerable populations, including children, the elderly, and individuals with pre-existing health conditions, would face heightened risks of starvation and nutritional deficiencies. Furthermore, access to clean water, essential for food production and consumption, would become increasingly limited as nuclear winter disrupts hydrological cycles and contaminates water sources with radiation and other pollutants. The lack of safe drinking water further compounds the challenges of food security exacerbating the risk of waterborne illnesses and dehydration. The consequences of food insecurity extend beyond physical health, permeating social, economic, and political dimensions of human existence. Competition for dwindling food supplies could spark conflicts and violence, further destabilizing fragile societies already reeling from the aftermath of nuclear war. Social cohesion erodes as communities struggle to cope with scarcity, exacerbating inequalities and exacerbating existing vulnerabilities. Addressing food security in the context of nuclear winter requires comprehensive strategies that encompass emergency preparedness, sustainable agriculture, and equitable distribution of resources. Stockpiling food reserves, diversifying agricultural practices, and promoting local food production can enhance resilience to destructions in global supply chains. 
Moreover, international cooperation and humanitarian assistance are essential for ensuring equitable access to food resources and mitigating the impacts of food insecurity on vulnerable populations. In conclusion, food security represents a fundamental aspect of human survival in the face of nuclear winter, where the destruction of food systems poses grave threats to global stability and well-being. By addressing the complex interplay of environmental, social, and economic factors underlying food insecurity, we can work towards building resilient communities capable of withstanding the challenges of nuclear conflict and its aftermath. Health Risks The impacts of nuclear winter on human survival extend far beyond the immediate environmental and societal consequences. One of the most pressing concerns is the profound health risks posed to survivors in the aftermath of a large-scale nuclear conflict. Exposure to radiation from nuclear explosions represents a primary health risk. The detonation of nuclear weapons releases ionizing radiation, which can penetrate human tissues and cells, causing damage at the molecular level. Acute Radiation Syndrome ARS, is a severe condition that results from high levels of radiation exposure over a short period. Symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and depletion of white blood cells. Without prompt medical intervention, ARS can be fatal. In addition to ARS, survivors face long-term health consequences due to exposure to radiation. The carcinogenic effects of ionizing radiation increase the risk of developing various forms of cancer, including leukemia, thyroid cancer, breast cancer, and lung cancer. Genetic mutations resulting from radiation exposure may also manifest in future generations, perpetuating the health impacts across multiple lifetimes. Beyond the direct effects of radiation, survivors must contend with the breakdown of medical infrastructure and the scarcity of essential resources. Hospitals and healthcare facilities may be overwhelmed by the influx of patients requiring treatment for radiation-related illnesses, injuries, and other medical conditions. Access to medications, medical supplies, and life-saving interventions may be severely limited, exacerbating the challenges faced by individuals in need of medical care. Moreover, the destruction of food production and distribution systems precipitated by nuclear winter contributes to malnutrition and food insecurity among survivors. Inadequate nutrition weakens immune systems, making individuals more susceptible to infectious diseases and exacerbating existing health conditions. Children, pregnant women, the elderly, and individuals with pre-existing medical conditions are particularly vulnerable to the adverse health effects of malnutrition and inadequate health care. Psychological trauma also poses significant health risks in the aftermath of nuclear conflict. Survivors may experience profound grief, anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD, as they grapple with the loss of loved ones, displacement from their homes, and the existential threat posed by nuclear war. Addressing the mental and emotional well-being of survivors is essential for promoting resilience, fostering healing, and mitigating the long-term psychological impacts of trauma. In summary, the health risks associated with nuclear winter encompass a spectrum of acute and chronic conditions, spanning physical, psychological, and social dimensions. By understanding these risks and implementing comprehensive strategies for medical preparedness, psychosocial support, and public health interventions, societies can enhance their resilience and mitigate the devastating toll of nuclear conflict on human health and well-being. Social Destruction Social destruction represents a significant aspect of the impacts on human survival in the context of nuclear winter. The aftermath of a large-scale nuclear conflict would precipitate profound upheaval in societal structures, norms, and behaviors, exacerbating the challenges faced by survivors. At its core, social destruction manifests in several interrelated dimensions. 1. Breakdown of social order. The chaos and devastation wrought by nuclear war would erode the fabric of social order, leading to the breakdown of governance structures, law enforcement, and civic institutions. With infrastructure destroyed and resources scarce, the ability of authorities to maintain control and provide essential services would be severely compromised. This vacuum of authority could pave the way for widespread lawlessness, looting and violence as individuals and groups compete for survival. 2. Loss of community cohesion Nuclear winter would strain the bonds of community cohesion, fracturing social networks and undermining interpersonal trust. The trauma of experiencing nuclear war 
and its aftermath would leave lasting scars on individuals and communities, fostering feelings of fear, mistrust, and alienation. Displacement, loss of loved ones, and scarcity of resources would further exacerbate social fragmentation, making it difficult for communities to unite and support one another in times of crisis. 3. Ethical Dilemmas and Moral Decay The exigencies of survival in a post-nuclear world would pose profound ethical dilemmas for individuals and societies. Decisions about resource allocation, prioritization of aid, and treatment of vulnerable populations would test moral principles and values. In the absence of established norms and ethical frameworks, moral decay and moral relativism could ensue, leading to the erosion of moral standards and ethical conduct. 4. Psychological Trauma and Mental Health Challenges The psychological toll of nuclear war and nuclear winter cannot be overstated. Survivors would grapple with profound trauma, grief, and existential despair in the wake of widespread devastation and loss. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, depression, and anxiety would afflict individuals as they confront the harrowing realities of their new existence. Moreover, the scarcity of mental health resources and support services would exacerbate the burden of mental illness, compounding the challenges of recovery and resilience. 5. Displacement and Refugees The destruction of habitable environments and the onset of environmental degradation would force millions of people to flee their homes in search of safety and sustenance. Mass displacement and refugee crises would strain humanitarian resources and exacerbate existing social tensions. Host communities may face challenges in accommodating refugees, leading to competition for resources, territorial disputes, and intergroup conflicts. In summary, social destruction in the aftermath of nuclear winter encompasses a broad spectrum of challenges, ranging from the breakdown of social order and loss of community cohesion to ethical dilemmas, psychological trauma, and displacement. Addressing these multifaceted issues requires comprehensive strategies that prioritize social resilience, community empowerment, and the restoration of ethical norms and values. Only through collective action and solidarity can humanity navigate the turbulent waters of post-nuclear survival and rebuild societies capable of withstanding the trials of an uncertain future. Strategies for mitigation and survival in the face of nuclear winter encompass a multifaceted approach that integrates preparedness, adaptation, international cooperation, and psychological resilience. While the prospect of nuclear conflict and its aftermath is daunting, proactive measures can enhance humanity's chances of survival and facilitate recovery in the wake of devastation. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve into the key strategies for mitigating the impacts of nuclear winter and fostering conditions conducive to human survival. Preparedness and Resilience Preparedness is paramount in confronting the specter of nuclear winter. Communities, governments, and individuals can undertake proactive measures to bolster resilience and mitigate the effects of nuclear conflict. Stockpiling essential supplies One critical aspect of preparedness involves stockpiling essential supplies, including food, water, medical supplies, and emergency equipment. Building robust reserves of these resources can ensure that individuals and communities have the means to sustain themselves in the aftermath of nuclear war when access to external aid may be limited or non-existent. Fortifying shelters and infrastructure. Investments in shelter infrastructure are essential for protecting individuals from the immediate impacts of nuclear explosions and subsequent fallout, reinforcing existing structures, constructing underground shelters, and implementing evacuation plans can save lives and minimize casualties in the event of a nuclear attack. Additionally, fortifying critical infrastructure such as power plants, hospitals, and communication networks, can enhance societal resilience and facilitate recovery efforts. Developing contingency plans. Developing comprehensive contingency plans is essential for effective emergency response and disaster management. These plans should outline protocols for evacuation, medical care, resource allocation, and coordination among government agencies and civil society organizations. Regular drills and simulations can help ensure that individuals and institutions are prepared to respond swiftly and effectively to nuclear-related emergencies. International cooperation and diplomacy. Efforts to prevent nuclear conflict and mitigate its consequences require coordinated action on a global scale. Diplomacy, arms control agreements, and multilateral cooperation are essential for reducing the risk of nuclear war 
and promoting peace and security. Diplomatic Initiatives Engagement in diplomatic dialogue and negotiation is critical for resolving conflicts, diffusing tensions, and preventing the escalation of nuclear hostilities. Diplomatic channels provide opportunities for diplomatic solutions, confidence-building measures, and the establishment of norms and protocols governing nuclear weapons use and proliferation. Arms Control and Disarmament Arms control agreements and disarmament initiatives play a pivotal role in reducing the likelihood of nuclear conflict and limiting the proliferation of nuclear weapons. By establishing mechanisms for transparency, verification and confidence building, strategies for mitigation and survival in the face of nuclear winter require a comprehensive and integrated approach that encompasses preparedness, international cooperation, adaptation and psychological resilience. By prioritizing proactive measures, fostering collaboration, and embracing innovation, humanity can enhance its capacity to withstand the challenges posed by nuclear conflict and emerge stronger and more resilient in its aftermath. Only through concerted action and collective solidarity can we navigate the uncertainties of a nuclear future and build a world where the horrors of nuclear war remain consigned to history. Hence, surviving completely in the aftermath of a nuclear winter presents an immense challenge, requiring comprehensive preparedness, resilience, and adaptation strategies. To endure such a cataclysmic event, humanity must prioritize collective action and international cooperation to prevent nuclear conflict and mitigate its consequences. Robust preparedness measures, including stockpiling essential supplies, fortifying shelters, and investing in renewable energy sources, are essential for weathering the prolonged darkness and cold. Additionally, fostering social cohesion, building strong community networks, and promoting psychological well-being are vital aspects of resilience in the face of post-apocalyptic conditions. Innovation in technology and agriculture, coupled with sustainable resource management practices, can enable communities to adapt and thrive amidst the harsh realities of nuclear winter. Furthermore, efforts to address underlying socio-economic disparities and promote equitable access to resources are crucial for ensuring the survival and dignity of all individuals in the aftermath of nuclear devastation. Ultimately, the quest for survival in nuclear winter demands a holistic approach that encompasses preparedness, adaptation, cooperation, and compassion, guiding humanity toward a future where the specter of nuclear catastrophe remains a distant memory rather than a looming threat. Thank you for tuning in to Space Sparks. If you found this episode insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content on space, science, and the mysteries of the cosmos. Together, let's keep the sparks of curiosity and exploration alive.